Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video. In this one, I'm talking about Town Hall 10s going up to two star Town Hall 11s, which is a very important skill for high level war clans because you want those 11 attacks free to come down and try to three star the Town Hall 10s because uh, it's a lot easier for them to deal with than the, the, your own 10s. Uh, so, I want to show myself taking on this base basically because if I can do it, anyone can. I'm a very new Town Hall 10. The low level heroes is 30-30, max for Town Hall 9. I do have the 5th spell and I do have level 5 Valks, but that's it. No extra troop space, so I'm kind of the bare minimum as for a Town Hall 10. So this is kind of to show you guys that uh, it's, it's very achievable, even if you have low level Town Hall 10 stuff. Uh, this isn't a good base, granted, but it's uh, you know an anti 2 star base. It has things pretty high level. Most most stuff is maxed out, and the walls don't matter, obviously, uh, when you're using jumps and stuff like that. So it's a very high-level base. And uh, basically, I want to make another one of these videos. I already kind of made one about Town Hall 10s going up and getting the Town Hall 11s. But the difference is with the new Valks, that's kind of what you're going to be using most of the time, almost all the time, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look at the attack. And uh, a lot of what I did in this attack is kind of the standard thing to do. You want to put down these archers, these minions first. Let me just pause it for a second because you used, to, you used to put them at the beginning before the eagle was an issue. But with Town Hall 11, the eagle, uh, once the eagle is activated, uh, it's going to be taking down anything you drop at the end to try to get some extra percentage. So <clears throat> uh, you can't just simply drop these troops. You can't count on getting it with your Valks because oftentimes they're coming from the opposite side. It's not reliable that you'll take out the eagle. So put down these archers, these minions first, and get the percentage there. Obviously, put them in places you're not going to otherwise attack, uh, so you get that extra percentage that you wouldn't uh, had you not done that. Anyway, though, uh, queen walk is pretty standard. You're going to see I'm going to start with one. Uh, just clear out that one building, which is important to funnel my queen the right way. Uh, put her down four healers, which is a good amount. I, I wouldn't do five at this point. Queen walk got kind of a buff in a way. Uh, I think so. I think the fifth healer isn't needed. Uh, typically, if you need a, if you need five healers, it's not going to make a difference. You're going to need the rage anyway. I've talked about this in the mini tips. Uh, so almost always four healers, sometimes three even. I'm bringing four here, and you can see the queen does take uh, quite a bit of damage right there. So go ahead and drop the rage two max point defense for honor plus the wizard tower. So get her healed back up as she gets through a lot of this point defense right here. Just clearing out percentage. Right here, she does start beating on the wall, and uh, I wasn't too thrilled about that. I was hoping she could keep walking around and maybe even get all the way towards the bottom of the base to help out my kill squad a little bit with my Valks and stuff, but she goes through the wall here. Not the biggest deal, because those Inferno Towers still aren't nearby, so she's going to get pretty good value, and... Uh, one thing to notice here is she is going to go down. I'm not going to keep wasting rages on her to keep her up. I'm just going to pop her ability once she gets low, then let her go down, basically. And so you would think you need her for the CC troops if there's like a dragon or something. But if you have some rages or even some haste for your Valks, they're quick enough that with the poison, uh, even if there's a dragon in the CC, the Valks can typically outrun it along with balloons and stuff. Uh, so pop the ability... I went ahead and started focusing towards the bottom here. That one minion, once again, another way to get percentage. Once the archer tower had been cleared out from that area, went ahead and dropped that minion, I think, so it gets a few extra percentage. But here we go. You can see, um, obviously, the Valks can beat through archers or anything like that, but when the balloons, the dragon, comes out, you think they would be in trouble, but as soon as that rage goes down, they're, th they're so quick that the uh, balloons can't get a drop off. And the wizards are great. If you can bring a few wizards to back things up, That'll just make sure the balloons and the dragon uh, take some damage. They took out the balloons. The dragon is still up, but in that poison, it doesn't do much. And the Valks, with two rages, they just storm that core. And the, the main thing to notice is those max level Valks are what was needed. I'm not using any heals. The hit, hit points are really important. So uh, had they been level 4, they probably wouldn't have gotten the job done. But that's kind of what you want to do after your queen walk. Just come in, storm the base with Valks. Quickest way to the town hall, whether it's the same side your queen's at or a different side, come in with the Valks and get the job done. As you can see, I got it done right there. Just enough to get the town hall taken out, and that added up to about 58%. So that's basically the new kind of uh, what's going on at town hall 10 as far as going to two-star town hall 11s. 
So hope this video helps, and uh, like I said, if I can do it on this very, very new Town Hall 10, you guys can definitely do it uh, as any level Town Hall 10. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Stack the Trend out.